Hi, my name is Dominic Taroli. I lead 3D and geodesign business here at ESRI. With me today is my dear colleague, Bruce Patrick. He's the account executive and 3D and geodesign expert. Before we start, allow me one question. Could you please raise your hand if you know the lake of Como, Lago di Como, in the northern part of Italy? Oh, wow, that's exciting. Oh, I like it. And I have to admit, um, the region got lately a lot of attention with George Clooney, with popular movies like Ocean 12, James Bond, and even Star Wars. And I have to admit, the region is beautiful, and I had the privilege to spend most of my summer vacation at the Lago di Como, at the Lake of Como. And it's beautiful there. I mean, you swim in the lake, you windsurf, you play tennis, you hike, you bike. And best of all, you can eat all these Italian specialities like pizza, pasta, gelati, ice cream. But sometimes it also feels like real work when we have to write those postcards to our friends and families. And back in those days, that was really hard work, right? First, you have to find the right postcards for grandma, for friends, for girlfriend. Then you have to find the right address. And back in those days, we didn't have autocomplete. Then you have to get like stamps, and if you send it internationally, that was a real challenge. And then you have to customize the message, bring it to the post office, and hopefully if it will be delivered in one or two weeks. And that changed quite a bit, right? Therefore, I like this beautiful visualization from Facebook CEO Mark Zuckerberg. After the postcard, there were these texts, then the, the pictures came with digital cameras, with smartphones, then videos, and we already see now early virtual reality and augmented reality application. And I think this is fantastic. I also think it's fantastic how much progress we made at ESRI with all our 3D technology about smart 3D cities, smart facilities, about imagery, LiDAR. You will hear a lot about drones uh, this week. Also virtual reality and augmented reality. But the point here really is Technology is always changing. Technology is always evolving. Therefore, you want to rely on a platform, on a 3D platform, on an enterprise geospatial 3D platform that you can plug in new technology, new kinds of apps without changing the whole system and the whole functionality. And what we hear in the market as well as as, as in this presentation, people want to use that on a desktop, they want to use it in the web, and they also want to use it on a mobile device. And 3D has come a long way, right? Some of you might remember the 80s movie, with, for example, Tron, where you stitch together vector by vector. Nowadays, we have this new 3D, this beautiful visualization. We saw it from, from JLL. We say it in the AAC industry, we say it in local government, uh, we see the entertainment industry. But the big jump is really now this Web 3D. Web 3D means you can experience 3D without downloading a software, without installing a plugin in a browser, without having previous 3D knowledge. And you see, we are really excited about that. And to give you some perspective and some use cases. I will hand it now over to Brooks. Brooks, the floor is yours. Thank you very much, Dominic. So I'm going to take you on a quick tour through some of the capability of this new, rather new, 3D WebGIS. Actually, before I begin, raise your hand if you've ever touched or made a story map in the room. OK. About, I would say, 60% of the crowd. This is a story map. Um, this is the story map journal. And what we've done is actually brought in a web scene into a story map here. This is a, a 3D web scene of downtown San Diego. And in web scenes, they act a lot like web maps. You can actually build and manage a lot of your 3D data alongside your 2D data and actually build out 3D city models at multiple levels of detail from non-textured thematic, a lot like our uh, base maps, 
We can go even higher detail to buildings and imagery. In this case, also looking at downtown San Diego. To even higher detail, 3D meshes, created using your drone imagery or existing oblique photos. The city of Boulder is one of the most desirable places to live, and the reason why is that the entire city is highly walkable. We can take analytical outputs, like walkability scores, like you've seen uh, most of the day. We can start to mash them up in these 3D views, and that's not all we can do. We can also take places of interest, for instance, uh, sites that a client needs to go visit or available properties to invest in. And so 3D maps allow us to actually visualize that in its true uh, 3D form. Part of Boulder Valley's uh, use of 3D is with their comprehensive plan. And one of the primary goals of the comprehensive plan is actually communicating key issues to the public, like flood risk. And as you can see here, that would otherwise be a static 2D map. And here we actually are utilizing their 3D base map alongside that mapping data. Next, Hollywood. One of the most intensely developed areas in Los Angeles Part of their community plan update is actually accommodating that population growth in a sustainable way. So we can have a look at zoning potential today, having a look at that somewhat complex code. And 3D provides a spatial view of that potential growth at neighborhood level, beyond just spreadsheets and Excel reports that we're all used to. Alternate scenarios can start to target key metrics, such as dwelling units, population, or jobs capacity. And 3D visualizes these trade-offs so that anyone can understand, not just the GIS experts. The Cambridge, Massachusetts 3D base map, the actual city of Cambridge, is utilizing 3D web scenes to support future evaluation of development proposals. 3D models from developers can be uploaded to web scenes to support transparency in the review process. Here, this is Kendall Square, one of the latest development projects for the city. Um, 2D uh, master plans can actually be overlaid alongside the new proposed development shown here in blue. And while we're in Cambridge, let's go ahead and visit Harvard University as well. It's in the same neighborhood. Urban campuses are like small cities, and integrating ArcGIS with the facility management system is helping to deliver a safer, smarter, more sustainable campus. For example, we can take a closer look here at Gund Hall, uh, it's the current graduate school of design. And fairly quickly, we can start to evaluate each floor for key metrics, such as space type, assignment, or vacancy. And integration with the building sensor and monitoring systems is providing new opportunities for improved energy use, for improved operational efficiencies. And this is all done in the web browser. I'm going to take you through a couple more apps that will actually highlight how we can start to make use of these 3D scenes in operation. Here is actually Winterthur, Switzerland. The city created a web scene of the entire city alongside the, develop, uh, the solar potential so that the residents can actually go to a map and look up their own house when it comes to whether or not it can support solar panels. Even at ESRI, we're utilizing our web GIS to actually locate uh, other staff members on campus. This is actually our latest development, our 3D campus viewer, which allows us to actually visualize our entire campus in 3D and allow us to actually search it on the fly. So I will actually search for my colleague Erlene Klinkenbeard. We actually made up fake names to protect the identities of our staff. So no, Ms. Klinkenbeard does not work at ESRI. But I can actually route from her office, for instance, to a conference room near my office on Q2 in three dimensions. And you can see how fast it is. The server is actually up in uh, a cloud somewhere. But it actually takes us from Airlines to the conference room, which might be her destination. We can also start to uh, filter by, for instance, an elevator that's needed for that route. This is where it's going. Um, this is the latest in Web3D, and with the latest release of ArcGIS Pro and ESRI City Engine, 
you can now publish your 3D layers directly to ArcGIS Online. Back to you, Dominic. Thank you very much, Brooks. That's uh, very impressive. Now, can we please switch to the slides? Thank you. Now, you, you might remember that last slide that I had and showing you how the user experience increased uh, over time. And we want to actually do an experiment right here, an experiment that we have never done. So we would like to discover whether it's possible or not to take one of you, we don't know yet, who has no previous 3D knowledge to create a smart 3D cities, a city within three minutes. Anybody up for the challenge? We have somebody. We have somebody? Lisbeth. Okay. Please come up. Come on down. So what's your name? Elizabeth. Elizabeth? Yes. And we haven't met before, right? No. no. Have, you, have you ever created a 3D city? No. Nope. So then I would say let's start the experiment. Mm -hmm. Yep. So over to Can the we laptop. switch to the Yeah. Yep. Thank you. All right. So it's pretty simple. Uh, just go to file and get map data. Get map data is actually a brand new feature that we added. It allows us to search anywhere in the world. So go ahead and type in New York City. Let's create New York City. There we go. Perfect. All right. And now let's zoom in a little bit. Just click it Two more times, there you go. And now drag a box just from there to there. Perfect. And here we'll choose, rather than 4K, we'll choose low resolution so no one has to wait. And let's go ahead and click polygons so we get the buildings and click OK. Perfect. While it's, it's downloading the data, I just wanna quickly mention three things. Uh, first of all, please go and watch Independence Day Resurgence. The movie used Desert Technology to, cue, to produce those amazing 3D cities in the movie. And it's an amazing use case how real GIS is working together with the entertainment industry. And we actually also made a webinar about it on July 22nd. If you're interested, you can tune in and see how they've done. Oh, you guys are already ready? Already. Okay. All right. Now take that rule and drag it on there until it turns orange. There you go. Perfect. Oh, wow, okay. And uh, like I said, we have this webinar if you're interested to see how Hollywood is working with real GIS data. Second, what you see here is the new City Engine 2016. We just released it on Tuesday, so last Tuesday. And the big hit here is really this Get Map Data interface where you just type in the name of your city then you basically download terrain, imagery, streets from OpenStreetMap, as well as footprints. And then, as, oh, you got, okay. And then you're just bringing a, a rule file and it extrudes it based on building heights, uh, uh, for example. And that's really for us a game changer that even people who have no previous 3D knowledge can create cities like this. So, congrats, your first 3D cities. <laughs> Beautiful, beautiful. How, how, how does it feel? It's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. Okay, thank you very much. Okay, big hand for, for Elizabeth. <laughs> Can we please switch to the slides? Thank you. Now allow me to, to conclude uh, our session. I know we, we covered a lot of things. Therefore, I would like to invite you to our 3D island at the Esri UC show floor. And on the one side, you can basically play around with all those new cool gadgets and technologies, like we have actually the HoloLens there, so if you haven't tried out HoloLens, come to our 3D island. We have Gear VR there, we have the Oculus there, all the latest kind of technology and gadgets. But on the other side, we also brought our best experts to San Diego to answer your questions firsthand. Second, if you're interested about the 3D platform capabilities, please uh, use the link bit.ly slash bissum with two Ms to see an overview of our 3D capabilities or for example, search for the Lago di Como, Lake of Como in one of our 
3D scenes. And uh, you can also catch us right here after the presentation or just send us an email at bpatrick at esri.com or dtaroli at esri.com. Thank you for your valuable time. Thank you for the opportunity. Enjoy San Diego and have a fantastic afternoon. Thank you very much. Thank you.